physical properties of nitric acid so this one it is in a pure state when it is 98% concentrated so there is fuming nitric acid that one it is colorless but laboratory method whatever uh, nitric acid is prepared that one will be 68% no? so see, this one will be yellowish brown in color why this one is yellowish brown in color due to presence of NO2 okay and what is this smell smell is suffocating smell and it is acidic in nature and you know if something is acidic what should be its taste and it is heavier than water it is hygroscopic and it fumes in air and here what uh, hygroscopic means what it has the affinity for water so it absorb um, uh, water from this uh, uh, surrounding that is why this one it is kept in the bottle bottle with stopper bottle with stopper okay and it fumes in air why it is fumes in air because it is highly soluble in water that is why fumes in air and boiling point 86 degree and melting point is minus 42 degree celsius and it forms this constant boiling mixture and we have discussed what is constant boiling mixture here constant boiling uh, mixture means one which boils without change in its composition here one who boils one who boils without change in composition without change in its composition okay so uh, after that one whenever it is when um, uh, heating above this mixture above the vapor vapor of both acid and water that is why at 121 degree only it can be taken and it is highly soluble in water in all proportion whatever dilute you want to make it can be that much of dilute that is why it is uh, soluble in water in all the proportion then next comes what is the uh, physiological action on this this uh, nitric acid it is uh, highly corrosive in nature so let us go for the physiological physiological nature of HNO3 okay so what is this one so here this uh, obviously this one it is non-poisonous this one it is non-poisonous okay poisonous it is corrosive it is corrosive in nature by chance it falls on the skin of um, falls on the falls on the skin okay it react uh, with that protein of the skin and it forms the painful blisters okay painful blisters it forms the painful blisters the stains skin yellow stains skin yellow okay and uh, react with the protein react with the protein of the uh, skin and and forms xantho proteic acid okay this forms xantho proteic acid uh, so here this one react with the protein of the skin and form xantho proteic acid so chemical properties of HNO3 first of all let us see the stability okay so let us see the stability so, this HNO3 it is unstable HNO3 it is colorless and it is unstable it is unstable means little amount of also uh, this uh, heat energy will be given or it gets it decomposes it uh, decomposes and here this one this HNO3 
slightly it is heated or it is sunlight if it also can be uh, sunlight in presence of sunlight it can be uh, again decomposes to give water along with oxygen okay which one product we have taken it decomposes with this uh, reactants we have taken to get the hno3 now this product again decomposes to give this reactant but here reactant product whatever it is now uh, changed now this one will be the reactant this one will be the product so here 4 this one will be 4 this one will be 2 and oxygen okay so in the laboratory this laboratory um, uh, hno3 bottles this one whatever bottles it is yellow is brown in color brown in color why this one yellow is brown in color due to presence of no2 that is why this uh, to avoid decomposition to to avoid decomposition to avoid decomposition nitric acid is normally normally kept or stored in colored bottles your lab you must have seen that this is in the brownish color bottle it has thick thick brownish color bottles it is taken uh, it is kept okay what is the reason behind it reason behind it is it, it will not decompose so if it decomposes HNO3 will contain a NO2 and within HNO3 NO2 will be there it will not be colorless rather it will be yellowish brown in color. Now this dilute nitric acid uh, this one it is we are talking about this dilute nitric acid so dilute nitric acid this dilute nitric acid almost completely dissociate completely dissociate okay why this one is completely dis, um, completely dissociate or it can ionize to form this ions okay. what is the ions form ions will be h plus ions and nitrate ions will be formed and this H plus ion with water this one will give rise to H3O plus ion and here as it has one molecule one uh, only we are getting per molecule in that aqua solution we are getting one H3O plus ion that is why this one is mono basic acid and it forms only the normal salt it forms only the normal salt okay here it completely dissociate to form these ions what does it mean it means that it is a strong acid because here we are getting that this percentage of hydronium ion is more and if we will go for this concentrated nitric acid concentrated nitric acid okay so concentrated nitric acid it is poorly ionized so if it is poorly ionized or partially dissociate this one will be weak acid this one will be strong this one will be weak acid but this concentrated nitric acid it is a strong oxidizing agent it is a strong oxidizing agent remember these are all these are we are going to discuss and uh, this uh, um, uh, the, all these are very important so concentrated nitric acid it is a strong acid, uh, oxidizing agent and oxidizing uh, property tend to tend to predominate tend to predominate this one will be for this concentrated sulfuric acid here because see why this one just little have the idea for it concentrated nitric acid amount of water will be low 
Amount of water will be less. So amount of water will be less means how will you think that one more amount of H3O plus ion will, we will get? So as this H3O plus H, H2O molecules will be less. So here we are getting it is poorly ionized. So it forms this weak acid. But it is other way. It is oxidizing agent and tend to predominate. Now as this concentrated nitric acid that becomes dilute. This um, uh, uh, this uh, oxidizing power also like that decreases. So dilute nitric acid it is a strongly acidic because it produces more amount of H3O plus ion and behave as a typical acid in its reaction with base carbonate and sulfides. So here uh, what is the typical acid let us see that one. So, write down this one, a typical acid, a typical acid is one which behave, behave like an acid in a particular situation the particular situation so for us situation means what situation means whether it is dilute or concentrated if it is dilute how much it is dilute that is the situation here so let us see that some examples h2so4 is typical acid when dilute because this H2SO4, when it is in that concentrated H2SO4, H2SO4 liberate nascent oxygen. Okay, so this nascent oxygen will react with, for example, Zn plus H2SO4 concentrated. So this one will be nascent oxygen. Other case, if we are taking the dilute solution, here it will be ZnSO4 plus hydrogen the reaction. But if we are taking this concentrated solution, concentrated H2SO4, oxygen comes, this oxygen will react with hydrogen. Instead of hydrogen, product will be water. Okay, so this one will be concentrated. Our aim is hydrogen, but we will not get hydrogen, rather we will get water. So, this H2SO4 behaves as a typical acid when it is dilute, dilute um, situation or dilute solution. Uh, not in that concentrated. Concentrated water will be the product along with SO2. Here, HNO3 is a typical acid. Is a typical acid in dilute form. In dilute form. But due to oxidizing nature, due to oxidizing nature, does not liberate liberate hydrogen with metals. Okay, so this is the typical. Here, it can be dilute form, it can be, but very dilute form only, it acts as a oxidizing, means uh, it acts as a acidic. But it is oxidizing nature, no? That is why it is strong oxidizing. HNO3, it is a strong oxidizing agent. Strong oxidizing agent. Okay, so this one will be for the example of the typical acid. Then we will see some reactions with metals or sorry not metal with that a base let it be NaOH with HNO3. Here of course we have to take the dilute solution. What we will get? We will get NaNO3 along with that water will be the product. Okay, so next will be, uh, let it be calcium carbonate with HNO3. This one will be in the dilute form. This gives rise to calcium nitrate 
along with carbon dioxide along with that water will be the product so here this one will be 2HNO3 calcium carbonate 2 this one will be 2 okay because we know from the carbonates we get carbon dioxide okay then let us see that bicarbonate also the same thing uh, um, here what do we can take um, calcium bicarbonate also let us take calcium bicarbonate with HNO3 what does it give rise to it give rise to calcium nitrate along with carbon dioxide along with that water so this one will be 2 water will be 2 this one 2 this one. so 2 sorry then sulfite ite otherwise bisulfite also it can be taken so here let it be copper sulfite with HNO3 all these are dilute form what does it give rise to copper nitrate SO2 water so 2 Six, seven, eight, nine, three, nine. Okay, now it is okay. Okay, so all these are about these reactions. Then we will go for uh, this the typical nature or this oxidizing, which is most important. See this carefully. What we are going to discuss. Okay, so oxidizing it is act as a strong oxidizing agent HNO3 concentrated act as a strong oxidizing agent when this becomes dilute okay so oxidizing oxidizing power also decreases okay so now let us see how and why it is known as oxidizing agent so HNO3 it is uh, undergoes decomposition here what will be the product NO2 water along with nascent oxygen as it liberate nascent oxygen so this one will be the um, this one will be concentrated concentrated HNO3 this one will be a producing here whenever it is concentrated one thing remember this one will be concentrated NO2 will be the product now let us go little dilute amount for this HNO3 this one will be moderately dilute not moderate concentrated otherwise you can write not dilute moderate dilute so what will be the product product will be NO water along with that oxygen here the purpose of telling this one is The purpose of writing these two equation in one place that you will recognize if NO2 is the product closing your eyes you can say this one it is concentrated nitric acid if NO is the product you can say it is not that much concentrated moderate concentrated or dilute nitric acid 
more are also there this hno3 this more more uh, means uh, dilute it will become n2o but th those are not in our course these two are also uh, only in our course okay i hope you understand this one so whatever this nascent oxygen liberate this nascent nascent oxygen liberate okay oxy digest metal non metal no and organic inorganic or inorganic are there but we will discuss only metal and non metal which are not in our course we will not discuss that one okay so here um as i told depending upon its concentration no2 can be product no can be product n2o can be product okay so now let us see along with non metal what sorry along with concentrated nitric acid along with metal with metals so in metal only we will go for uh, this copper so copper with hno3 this one will be concentrated as we had discussed in case of concentrated hno3 we are taking no2 will be one of the product water will be one of the product okay there will be no difference you cannot say anything you have to write here copper with hno3 obviously this one will be copper nitrate here copper nitrate no2 with water then we will balance it so copper nitrate so now which is the oxidizing product here copper oxidizes to copper nitrate so copper nitrate is the oxidizing product copper nitrate is the oxidizing product along with no2 so and water so this one will be concentrated now let us see if i we are taking copper and this one will be hno3 dilute here let us write because it is moderately it is concentrated so what will be the product here as i had told if it is dilute the product will be no along with water so here this copper copper nitrate or no and water so here three copper eight this one this three water will be four and two will be no okay so here what is the oxidizing product so this one is the oxidizing product and here we can write oxy dizing product hope you understand you can take for zinc but copper is only in our course if you want we can take zinc also one example we can take for zinc also okay so here let us take zinc zinc with hno3 this one it is concentrated here when it is reacting this one as i told concentrated no2 next one will be water so this one will be zinc nitrate understood now let us balance this so zinc this one will be 4 hno3 this one will be 2 water and this one will be 2 no2 okay let us go for dilute this one hno3 this one will be dilute so if we are taking dilute what will be the product product should be no along with water and here zinc this one will be zinc nitrate so if i am taking concentrated this one is the product if i am taking dilute this one is the product okay zinc so 3 8 this one will be 3 this one will be 4 and this one will be okay so this is with the metals then comes another interesting thing here passivity this one is important question comes what is passivity let us passivity passivity means inertness what is inertness 
when there will be no reaction okay so passivity means inertness means there will be no reaction so metals like aluminium all these are very important you have to remember this all these are one more questions and what is passivity uh, name the metals which undergoes passivity reacting with concentrated HNO3 all these are the questions so here passivity no reaction no reaction okay so metals like aluminium cobalt nickel and iron becomes passive or inert when treated with pure concentrated nitric acid so when they are treated with pure concentrated nitric acid after sometimes reaction first of all takes place after sometimes reaction stops why this reaction is stops due to the formation of extremely thin layer of insoluble metallic oxide coating hmm, which stops the further reaction so here if i am taking this let it be aluminium is the metal reacting with concentrated hno3 there will be a, a thin layer so here let it be the thin layer it will be formed Okay, when thin layer will be formed, so whatever other substances trying to react with this, they cannot come in contact with aluminium, so reaction stops. Okay, so this one again reaction can proceed if we will take this and uh, with sandpaper, if with this insoluble coating can be removed, then again reaction can start. But again what have will happen, for the reaction when it will start, after some time, again reaction stops. That is why it is said that concentrated nitric acid makes aluminium, cobalt, nickel, iron passive. Reaction with non-metals. So, reaction with non-metal. Non-metal with HNO3 concentrated. What will be the product? Salt, NO2 and water will be the product okay now let us see we have two uh, non-metals one will be carbon another one will be sulfur with us these two only in our course we will discuss that one so here this one hno3 you have to mention it whether it is concentrated or dilute so here so carbon with hno3 this one will be carbon dioxide water and no2 okay let us uh, balance this one this one will be 4 this one will be 2 this one will be 4 okay so which is the oxidizing product here carbon dioxide is the oxidizing product clear so some cases children they used to write carbon dioxide plus water they used to write h2co3 but h2co3 it is uh, unstable so you cannot write carbonic acid you have to mention carbon dioxide and water let us go for sulfur sulfur with hno3 concentrated give rise to h2so4 plus water plus NO2 because you are concentrated obviously NO2 will be the product understood so here let me take, uh, explain you this one little how we are getting H2SO3 SO4 so here HNO3 give rise to NO2 water plus oxygen yes this sulfur with this oxygen will give rise to SO2 further oxidation it will give rise to SO3 yes so this SO3 along with water will give rise to H2SO4 understood here we can write this one so just let me um, show you this one properly HNO3 will give rise to uh, NO2 plus water plus nascent oxygen Two, four, five, six, six. Okay. so sulfur with oxygen 
give rise to SO3. So this one will be how much? Sorry, the not this one O. This one will be nascent oxygen. Give rise to SO3. So this one SO3 means here this one will be 3. To balance this one. Okay. Now this SO3 loss water give rise to H2SO4. Okay, here it is 3, means here for balancing we have to multiply this one 3, this one 3, this one will be 6, this one will be 6. Now let us see. Here, this one, this one cancel, SO3, SO3 cancel, 1H2O, this one give rise to 2H2O. What will be the product? 6HNO3, sorry, sulfur plus 6HNO3 give rise to H2SO4 plus 6NO2 plus 2 water. See that one, it is balanced or not? Here, sulfur, 1 sulfur, this one, 6HNO3, H2SO4, 2 water. We have discussed Nitric acid, it is a strong oxidizing agent and in different dilution, product will be different. So here, one thing again let me tell you, when it is concentrated a nitric acid, product will be NO2. Then little less the concentration or moderate concentration, it will be NO. Dilute, it will be N2O. These are the products, okay, depending upon this gases you can know whether dilute concentration nitric acid we have taken concentrated dilute or uh, or moderate concentrated okay so here um, whenever we react a dilute acid with metals they give rise to hydrogen but in this case this nitric acid at different stages they produce different uh, gases along with nascent oxygen this nascent oxygen react with hydrogen to produce water as a product. Understood? So, this, this uh, hydrogen is normally not liberated when dilute uh, nitric acid react with metal. But, but, but when cold, very dilute, very dilute means 1% only nitric acid will be there, 99% water will be there. Very, um, this cold, very, very dilute condition, this nitric acid react with magnesium and manganese to produce hydrogen. This is very important question. Missing words, this is the question. Name the following, this is the question. So here, this one will be HNO3 dilute. Okay, which is very very dilute HNO3. What they produce? They produce magnesium nitrate along with hydrogen. This one will be manganese nitrate along with hydrogen. Okay, so magnesium, this one will be 2, okay. and this one will be also hydrogen will be the product. This is most important question. Okay. Nitric acid, powerful oxidizing agent. So, nascent oxygen produced, they react with hydrogen to produce water. But in this case, we have taken very, very dilute case. And one important thing, as I told you, uh, this nitric acid concentration decreases, oxidizing power also decreases. Okay. So, this is all about um, uh, reaction. Then we will go for aqua regia. Aqua regia, in the case of SCL, we had already discussed. Still, again, we will discuss aqua regia. So, aqua regia, a mixture of mixture of uh, concentration concentrated. Oh, uh, sorry. Oh, one part of uh, mixture of um, one part of concentrated HNO3 and three parts of concentrated SCL. 
this gives rise to aquaresia and with gold platinum they dissolve in aquaresia but nitric acid except a uh, gold platinum nitric acid dissolves all, all the substances that is why it is known as uh, aqua fortis okay so here hno3 you have to mention this one is concentrated plus three part there no three part of hcl so you have to write three part it is concentrated this one give rise to nocl plus water along with nascent chlorine so this chlorine comes out this one will be 3 water will be 2 chlorine will be 2 okay so this nascent chlorine it dissolves gold and platinum so this one will be chlorine nascent chlorine give rise to AuCl3 so 3 means this one will be 3 so platinum so this one will be platinum chlorine give rise to PtCl4 so this one so question comes what is aquaresia write the reaction your question can be what is aqua resia give equation to show gold platinum dissolve in it so all these things you have to write without writing this equation you cannot go to this equation you cannot you will lose math because this nascent chlorine from where it has come you have to show in this equation how will you know that this acid is nitric acid that is the test for nitric acid and nitrates so for nitric acid or the uh, ni uh, nitric acid when it is heated hno3 when it is heated it gives reddish brown fumes so here this one all about your concentrated hno3 when it is heated give rise to water no2 and oxygen so here when this one uh, um, it is heated this gives reddish reddish brown fumes okay and here any nitrate you are taking for example you are taking copper nitrate copper nitrate metallic nitrate when heated give rise to copper oxide huh. uh, here let us write metallic nitrate give rise to metallic oxide along with that one NO2 along with oxygen This give rise to again reddish brown fumes. This is for nitric acid and nitrate. Another second one let us see. When you are taking the metal. For example metal like copper you are taking. Or zinc also can be. Here when you are taking concentrated HNO3. Here what will be the product HNO3 here. And along with that one NO2. Along with that one water, water comes. So, when it is heated, uh, when it is heated, this reddish brown fumes comes. Reddish brown fumes comes. So, this is the test for, because reddish brown fume is due to NO2. So, NO2 comes out means this is concentrated nitric acid. Now, the interesting brown ring test. So, this brown ring test is the detection for nitrate radical and this one it is important board question. This one it is fill in the blanks question. Uh, uh, brown ring test for which radical? That one will be for this nitrate radical. So, what to do here? So, first of all we have to take any uh, solution of first step it is um, solution of uh, any nitrate. Solution of metal nitrate has taken. Metal nitrate. Okay. So, we are taking the metal nitrate or you can add dilute uh, HNO3. Mm, you have taken. Then, we have to take freshly prepared Fe2. Uh, this one is mm, uh, fer ferrous uh, sulfate solution. Freshly prepared have to take. 
In that, first of all, nitrate in this uh, test tube. Let us take this uh, nitrate solution and th these two mixtures. Let us take this one also. After that, pour concentrated H2SO4 dropwise through this wall of this container very slowly. When it is poured very slowly, here you will find that there will be a ring like brown color ring will be formed here in here. Okay. Here will be one liquid, here will be one liquid, within this liquid there will be a separation. This is brown in color, that is why this name is brown ring. Okay, what is the of this, uh, name of this compound? A, uh, this uh, FeSO4 dot NO, nitrosoferous sulfate. All these questions, these only two questions are important here. One will be what is the uh, brown ring test for which radical this one and what is the name of this uh, um, brown ring or the compound for the brown ring will be there. In upper part, this one will be FeSO4 solution. Lower part, this one will be uh, H2SO4 sulfuric acid. As it is heavy, it will be there. And this one will be brown ring. This much only there. And when you are shaking it, this one, this brown ring, as it is unstable, this, this ring will be deformed and this one will be mixed with the solution. But this question not included in the course. Only this one and this one is included in the course. Now, uses of nitric acid. So, what are the uses of nitric acid here? To is this um, designed on the copper and brass wire. What for? Because nitric acid act as a solvent. So, with all these metals, it reacts. So, it acts as a solvent for large number of metals. Obviously, except for noble gases, gold and platinum. Even silver also, it dissolves in nitric acid. And two, second one is to purify gold. Why to purify gold? Uh, um, this gold uh, contains impurities like zinc, copper, silver, lead, all these things. So when nitric uh, gold will be added to nitric acid, all these impurity metals will get dissolved in nitric acid and gold will be pure. Then it is used for this uh, fertilizer, so nitrate and all this fertilizer. Okay, And here then preparation of aquaresia. We have discussed then manufacture of explosive like TNT, synthetic fibers, I mean artificial silk, nylon, all this. Then constituent of rocket fuel also it is. Then preparation of nitrate, all the metal nitrate, uh, this one would be for this, um, this uh, preparation of nitrate. And preparation of dyes, drug and the perfume. Hope you understand this one. Uh, whatever your requirement and how you feel you please write in the comment box